So, step one. Leave a developer room in your game. And accessible. And let and 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 let put it somewhere on the map. Step two Like physically on the map. It's not a code that nope, you teleport to. You just, just walk to it. Mm -hmm. Uh or get there via like in game means without yeah. injecting things. Step two, leave all the items and developer powers in that room accessible. Uh, allowing you to find and use whatever you need, having a lineup of power suits, lineup of items, lineup of food, lineup Including of guns. Including unreleased items. Literally everything planned for the video game. Step three, ban people that have been to that room. And then say you'll unban them if you tell them how you got in. And step four, leave them banned if they don't provide sufficient explanation as to how and why they got there. So the fact that Bethesda can't figure Warf. out exactly how people are getting into that dev room is the funniest thing in the world to me. Because it's either a guy teleported me in, okay, what guy was it, right? Or... Oh, I walked through this wall for an hour, and I just clipped me through. Uh, Fallout 76 has a dev room that has an actual NPC and a bunch of everything. A cousin of yours named Wooby. And you can go grab it. You just gotta walk in and grab it. But they're not too happy about that. There are unreleased cash shop items in that dev room that you can just leave with. Yeah. I don't understand the the mechanics of how the dev room is has the items lying around that you can take. Like that that's the part that blows me away. Well, because in testing, that's the kind of thing that simplifies QA massively. But wouldn't that not be in the game's map? Wouldn't that be a separate load? So, different devs have different habits for how they do this. Uh a lot of the time, yeah, the smart thing to do would be have a menu that you don't access. That's a fake thing. Right, or a completely, basically what, what amounts to a separate mode or a separate place, and then you load in into the map with what you want. Uh, Near Automata obviously had that little test room yeah. that you unlock yourself even. Um, but yeah, uh, in this case, it's just a place on the map. And uh, that's a bad not for a big online experience. Not a week goes by that I don't hear about Fallout 76. And Poor Wooby. Wooby's life is infinite suffering because he's the only NPC in Fallout 76, which is hilarious in its own right, but he appears to be there for damage testing. So it appears that he exists to die. Which yeah. Which is very sad. Um, I mean, again, you'd think dev only server or because the thing is that like in a single player game you can go oh yeah beat the game get this thing whatever who sure, cares whatever online multiplayer no don't do that and also every every server every map had like it, like like yeah, take anyway. for example final fantasy 14 is an online game with a large map right it's all disconnected zones but still it has a developer room that you can access there's a difference though the way you access it is by being a toxic fuck, and the GM places you in there because it's actually a jail. And people have figured out where it exists on the map. It's like underneath a zone. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But there's nothing in it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because why would there be something still there? Um, I think it's time to officially start the clock that we can reset it. Weeks. It's been X days. Weeks without a Fallout 76 Incident. story. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's been, because it's been a, at least a solid month, if not more. I, I believe it's every single week it's since release. Every single except week. Except for maybe Christmas week. And and make no mistake, right? We are. F I fully acknowledge that the hate train is rolling and people are looking for things. But there's so much to find. But if it wasn't of note, I, it's like, why even bring it up? But these have all been like things of like, God, really? That bad? Hey, we banned you. Write a letter telling us why mods are bad. Hey, we banned you. Write us a letter telling us why we banned you. Has anyone ever has anyone ever done anything like that when it comes to like an online game in any way? Yeah, Fallout 76. Prior to this moment? Oh no. 
<laughs> where never the banning was conditional upon a apology letter. Uh, uh, well, I was gonna say a, a, a fucking um, a appeal. Right, right <laughs> on the board. Process. Right on the board. A hundred times. I will not use Russian hacks to clip into the dev room. Man. Yikes. They're, they broke new ground, man. I feel like that's probably because there's a way... Like, they want to hear from you that you just walked into this corner and then fell into it. Yeah, what they don't want to hear is that, yeah, so I, I tore your game up and used a program that I invented that I sell to people now right. to walk through walls in your game and right. you can't figure it out. Good job. Uh, yikers. <laughs> so, my favorite part about this... I was talking to some people about this, and uh, I'm taking it on their word, so apologies if it's mistaken. But the basic deal is that they are banning anybody who walks into the room. Yes. And grabs items, yes. right? The problem is that the people who are walking into the room to grab items are doing so with accounts they made specifically to walk into the room to grab items. Oh, okay. They are then taking those items and selling them on eBay. Of course. Like, what else did you do not sell them? But then they get to keep their real accounts that didn't do that. Um, and to their credit, apparently Bethesda is not banning people who buy those items, merely people who are managing to find their way into the room. <laughs> right. Right. But fucking still, man. Like... Reset the clock. Reset it. That's, uh... No. But hey, if you own Fallout 76 on Bethesda Launcher, you can get Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics for free. You know, it would be... Ah, those games are worth $12. What I would love to hear, <laughs> I'd love to hear that somebody writes in an explanation, and then they go, oh, okay, cool, and they unban them, and then that person pastes that on a forum somewhere, and then it's like, hey, guys, just control fucking V this into an email and this why wouldn't it work right and then everybody can just do that and then great now we have the canon explanation uh you having a hard time over there I'm having a hard time okay I so, hit my lamp it's and a weird has weird magnet lamps it's a weird magnet light it's okay on on coasters yeah it's, uh, it's there fine. I fixed it there I'm smart go. Uh, yeah. Just I noticed you're watching the Outer Worlds trailer on this page. Well, no, it, it's the end of the footage, actually. <laughs> so that they threw it in. That's really funny! They threw it in at the end. Oh, man! Oh, man, that's really funny. Can you explain why? Because that's the game being made with a new engine by Obsidian. Okay. And it's being poised as the sequel to Fallout New Vegas. Yes, right. In the space. The complete other game that we saw and, announced on the and thing. That's, right. And every time Fallout 76 comes up, people go, yo, Outer Worlds is coming. How about this game? Yo. No. Yeah, yeah. So they, exactly. That's literally baked into the video. That's hilarious. At the end. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Yeah. Uh, anyway. And they don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. 